Hi everyone, my name is Ha Dao, a PhD student at Sokandai, Japan. In this presentation, I'm going to talk about our research on the paper Characterizing Senior Glucine Bay Tracking on the Web. I will begin by giving you an overview of Senior Glucine Bay Tracking, how difficult to detect this kind of tracking on the web. When a user opens a website on his or her browser, what we call a first party website, many requests are sent to servers. Some requests are necessary to obtain the content being requested from the website owner's servers. Others are needed to fetch media data such as images, audios, video, or advertisement contents from different websites. And the order for tracking internet user is used to determine user browsing habits and preferences for advertisement and analysis on the web, which can be frightful for privacy sensitive users. For example, here, see the tracker.com. If you are using an app blocker so that you block everything your story or some browser so that Safari, Firefox, Brave, they already block the kind of tracking on the web. So at least you don't need to worry a lot for your privacy when using the internet. However, third party web tracking has been getting more complicated in embrace again the countermeasure. Well, now let's see the secret behind the subdomain a.example.com As you know, the uses of DNS CNAME records coupled with content delivery network to reduce bandwidth cost and increase content availability is increasingly commonplace. DNS records also used to request data on cloud or point to the primary domain at first party. But now, CNAME has also been used for user tracking. Tracking provider tracker.com is asking their client istanbul.com to delegate a subdomain a.istanbul.com for data collection and link it to an external server tracker.com using a CNAME DNS record d.tracker.com. It behaves differently from ordinary third party tracking c.tracker.com because it uses the first party subdomain a.example.com. Browsers and extensions generally do not touch the first party subdomain like that. So let's look at an example of CNAME clocking based tracking. When users access the website liberation.fr, when we inspect the domain related request behind this website at 7 dslibertionfr we see that the C name of this subdomain points to the tracking provider Eulerian Technology. This technique used to disguise third party tracking requests as third party ones did raise a lot of concern for the end user on the internet. Well, in this paper, I'm mean as characterizing the CNAME cloaking based tracking on the web. Firstly, as you know, CNAME cloaking based tracking requires the cooperation between website owner and tracking provider. So, we intend to analyze website and tracking providers using this technique to track user activities. Next, we want to analyze longitudinal behavior of CNAME cloaking based tracking. And finally, we intend to evaluate and compare browser and extension regarding privacy protection against CNAME cloaking based tracking. For the purpose, the next session we explain in detail our methods. Firstly, to detect CNAME cloaking based tracking, we build a tracking filter list. Here, we use two well known tracking filter lists Easy Privacy List and Accord Tracking Filter List. Easy privacy list include 9 sublists and the accord uh, tracking filter list include 11 sublists. They contain many rules that remove all forms of tracking, including web bugs, tracking scripts such as ordinary third party tracking as I presented before, thereby protecting user personal data. Focusing on tracking, we select third party tracking domain 
an international top party tracking domain sublet from Easy Privacy Lit and tracking server sublet from Agra the tracking protection filter list. The blacklist are partly overlapping. We build a union of the two filter lists above to make the final tracking filter list. Then we change the tracking domains to match with the name behind all subdomains using regular expression. For example, this rule will match any CNAME ending with Eulerian.net. We conduct large scale automated crawl on Alexa top 300,000 website. We collect all the requests and their response for its website. After that, we separate the generic top level domain and country code top level domain from the visited website for all requests to keep all subdomain related requests here. Then we look up and check CNAME records for its subdomain. Finally, we mask the its CNAME and set with tracking filter list from step 1 to detect CNAME cloaking based tracking. In addition, in order to track longitudinal behavior of CNAME cloaking based tracking, we also rely on four other datasets. Two datasets are publicly available in Princeton Web Census data. They were collected in January 2016 and February 2017 and targeted Alexa Top 100,000 sign. The other we collected on Alexa Top 100,000 sign in April 2018 and January 2020. We also applied the same method above for four datasets. Next, we will move to the key findings of our research. Overall, we detect 4,421 CNAME cloaking based tracking URLs. Furthermore, we find that the URL belongs to 1,762 websites on Alexa Top 300,000 sites. Mm. Interestingly, we confirmed that 56 tracking providers using this technique to track user activity. Next, let's move on to the characteristics of the website contains CNAME cloaking based tracking. Firstly, when we consider the empirical cumulative distribution function of the Alexa ranking, we see that they are spread in the Alexa ranking. It's so that 30% of CNAME cloaking based tracking belong to the top 2000 website. Obviously, there is more CNAME cloaking on the top website. Then we discuss the website category for 1,762 website contains CNAME cloaking based tracking. We see the most website belong to business shopping and information technology categories. Besides that, when we break down by website country, we see that 56 are websites are located in the United States and other countries have a significantly lower percentage. We also provide a breakdown of tracking provider behind CNAME cloaking based tracking in Alexa Top 300,000 sites. We confirm 56 tracking providers using this technique. The major player is Adobe. Besides Adobe, we see some well known tracking providers such as Agron, Eulerian, and Intent Maria. When we break down of tracking provider inclusion in website by website category, tracking provider were distributed in different type of website. However, we see some specific pair between the tracking provider and category. For example, Agon for business, Eulerian for shopping, and Intent Media for travel. By website country, we also observe that some tracking providers are mainly located in specific countries, Eularian in France and Intent Media in Germany. Again, Adobe is the most popular tracking provider in almost all countries and categories. Before start my explanation for longitudinal L analysis, I know that the contents of Alexa list are not the same among the four data set because Alexa list themselves are updated daily and change significant from one day to the next. 
So in order to make a fair comparison, we also use the intersection of the four Alexa top 100,000 sites and we obtain overlap around 26,000 websites. Besides that, when we check the historical forward DNS dataset for the four years before 2020, the coverage of the the coverage of the historical data in our CNAME data is not perfect. It meets 10% of CNAME in 2018 and 30% in 2016 and 2017. That's the reason why we have uh, the error bar like that. Firstly, when we consider the number of websites in each Alexa 100,000 sites, the red tangle here, we confirm that a slight increasing trend even though the error bar are larger in 2016 and 2017, especially from 2018 to 2020, there is a clear trend. We see the similar trends in the overlap data blue circle here. Third, not only website newly ranking Alexa 100,000 sites, but also the commonly appear website in Alexa 100,000 sites introduced more senior cloaking based tracking in four years. Well, in the next section, we will focus on privacy protection evaluation. Some browser and extensions focus on privacy by blocking tracker. We evaluate the ability of common browsers and extension to block senior cloaking based tracking. We investigate five major browsers and six popular privacy protecting extensions with support the browser. We then collect all requests and respond on the 1762 website containing senior cloaking based tracking and apply the method arranged before for its profile. Overall, all browser and extension have a different impact on CNAME cloaking based tracking. For all browser most aggressive browser is Bray. It had the best performance among five browsers without any extension and block around 50% of websites that use CNAME cloaking based tracking. For all extension, the most effective extension is you block everything that reduce around 700% of the website contains CNAME cloaking based tracking. Another notable point is that you block everything developer version in February 2020 with anti CNAME cloaking based tracking technique is better than you block everything in this term. It's however only impacts to Firefox browser because the other browsers do not provide an API that unloads an extension to perform DNS lookups. So, well, there is term for protection improvement in the future to protect end user from CNAME cloaking based tracking. Now, just summarize, let's quickly look at the main point again. To the best of our knowledge, this is the first in-depth analysis of CNAME cloaking based tracking. We brought the top page of Alexa Top 300,000 size and analyzed the uses of CNAME cloaking based tracking. Our results show that 1,732 websites contain CNAME cloaking based tracking primarily on business and shopping websites in the United States. They use 56 tracking providers in total and the most common one is Adobe. By evaluating four snapshots of Alexa 100,000 sites from 2016 to 2020, we find that CNAME cloaking based tracking is not a new phenomenon and it has been already deployed for at least four years. Finally, to provide a wider picture of the current privacy protection technique, we evaluate the effect of well-known browsers and attention against CNAME cloaking based tracking. We point out that browsers and privacy protection extensions are largely ineffective to deal with CNAME cloaking based tracking, except for Firefox with a developer version of the uBlock everything extension. We believe that our method can help privacy experts 
understand third party tracking based on thin name clocking and third input existing countermeasure. Thank you very much for your attention.